Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, I am so excited for this week's video. My husband and I created a writing nook cubicle space down here in the basement that we've been filming in. So that is why the background behind me looks a little different. We're still in the same room, but we are in our writing nook. And that's what I'm going to show you guys. But before I actually do the full-on tour, I have to decorate it. So this is like a writing desk tour slash decoration vlog, I guess. Silhouettes of you are like a ton. Never really noticed what you want. I finally got in all of my desk setup little things and I'm going to print out my vision board and kind of put it over here which you can't really see yet and then I want to put up my plotting wall um, behind my desk on this wall up here which you also can't see yet so let me flip you around just so you kind of get the vibe of what we're doing here and then we'll do like when we're done we'll do like a whole full-on tour and then after that we have to go to the store because I need poster board and tape which I do not have. So this is a desk. You are out as far as I can get you and the space is really small but this is the desk so the plotting board's gonna go up here and obviously the angle in which we are is like you know that looks like a giant but it's fine. Um, and then over here is going to be the vision board. So vision board, plotting board, desk, this is all the stuff that we have to decorate with and then I'm going to finally put my Good Vibes light up that I got forever ago. I don't even remember if I still have that vlog up, but if I do, I'll link it um, if you're curious about it. But I'm going to put my Good Vibes light up. So I think it's going to look really good in here. I hope it's going to look really good. And then I'll just do the full tour and we'll get the full impact of what is going on in this little writing space because I'm so excited. It already feels so cozy because I've already put some stuff up and the curtains. I love the curtains. I can't wait for you guys to see the curtains. But without further ado, let's go to the store. bun because it kept falling down even though I specifically asked it not to cheated on me when I specifically asked you no. not to anyways what am I gonna start with doing um putting up the plotting wall is probably going to be the easiest thing to do so I'm probably gonna knock that out maybe and then I need to set up the printer and print out some of the th the things I've already chosen and then kind of like pick what we're doing with the vision board so let's do that so i'm pretty happy with this placement so i'm just gonna put them all up now so i'm actually changing projects really soon um so we're gonna just be doing this all over again but i just want to see the like aesthetic of it Okay, um, I'm going to live with the spacing of this for a little bit and then I will probably, when I switch projects, I'll put thumbtacks down so that I know like the permanent spacing for it. Um, but for now we're just going to keep it with tape. But I am digging the way it looks. It makes me feel very on the ball with things so that's good okay so i have my poster bolted down to the size that i want it to be 
And now I'm just going to be going through Pinterest. And I already have like a, a 2023 vision board started. So I'll probably just start there and then maybe try to find more if I need it. I don't think I have enough to fill up that whole board. So now it's just like the fun shopping for images. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to print them off and tape them down. I might turn y'all over top so you can see me taping them down. We'll just see how it goes. Yep. a butt ton of photos all one per page because I couldn't figure out how to do it differently which is a little wasteful no not my favorite thing to be but I'm just going to cut these out and then we'll get going on the actual vision board part. <laughs> Okay, so I can't get the whole thing in the frame, but you'll get the gist. And I think I'm just going to lay them out just randomly. I don't really have a plan for this. I accidentally printed this one huge, so I printed a couple more larger ones just so I would have like a an array of sizes. I think I have enough to fill the page though. Um, maybe even too many. So we'll see. I'm just gonna do the thing, you know? I really like how it came out. I added some like butterfly stickers just for some like, I don't know, like a 3D effect. Um, it's mostly just like really beautiful pantries, work life. This is like what I want my house to look like. I want a dog. I did um, like fake Canva for, um, book covers. I mean, I know they're not good, but like these are the three books that I have written, so I like just like visualizing them out there in the wild. And let's see, a bunch of like chicken coop situations, um, some fun family time, um, alpacas, greenhouse, um, let's just like work photos. And let's see, beekeeping and just like healthier eating, a little bit of exercise thrown in here. So pretty much just like this is my vision board for how I would like my life to go. <laughs> just very much outside and growing things and yeah, but still being very productive. So I like it. I think it's going to look really cute on the wall. Okay, here's like... The wide shot I guess you can see like my lights and like this is the wall we made right here so it's just like a little cubicle and I absolutely love how it turned out and those curtains I love them so I'm just gonna like 
try to give you an actual tour, but it is super small, guys. So we have a wall calendar I need to fill out. And then, of course, y'all have seen this tapestry. My couch. So here are just some of the little rocks that I have collected over the years. A succulent plant. My Edison light. And I wish these curtains were showing up on camera, like, as cute as they are. Hopefully you get the gist. I got them on Amazon if you're interested. Then we have this little moody corner, which is super cute. That is water for my plants. Here is the desk view. We have a plant. Obviously, I'm like really hoping that I can keep these things alive. <laughs> but I bought a nice um, keyboard mat to help with my wrists and this gold um, computer stand just because I'm like trying to be like a little bit more ergonomical and healthy like neck wise um, this gold this gold mouse which I think is so cute so that is like the writing setup and then oh the um, computer stand came with a phone stand which I love then we've got some um, you know pins and then I always have let me put you in focus here so I always do a candle for each of my books and this is the setup for the book that I am going to be working on and have been working on for quite some time now my gothic romance truffle book and then, let me sit in the chairs. Okay, so this is my view. I'm like, I'm like typing, working, and then I look up and I see this cute quote. It's my favorite quote from Harry Potter. And then I look up and I can see my vision board. Excuse, excuse the basement over here, <laughs> but you get it. Let me see if you're not in focus, but. So that's how the vision board turned out. And then I look up and my entire board is just plotted out. My entire board, my entire book is just plotted out. So yeah, this is the quote in case you couldn't see it. It's a Ginny quote. And then here is the vision board. Just right there for me to stare at while I'm working and Imagine that all the work I'm putting into these books is going to create this life for myself. So I love that. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little um, writing desk tour. I love it. I am so excited to see what kind of Creativity comes out of like having a space like this. So that is it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I literally loved this vlog more than any of the other vlogs I've ever done solely because this cubicle writing nook situation has been a dream of mine for like a year and a half now so it feels good to have it actually complete and to be sitting in the space and to like love how all the things and decorations turned out I'm so excited to see like what kind of creativity comes out of this room and it's making me like want to start my next project which spoiler alert is going to be a sequel on my gothic romance travel book so if you're interested in that don't forget to like and subscribe I usually um, have writing vlogs and I'll probably be doing that for the upcoming project so I hope you stick around I hope you're all having a good day and I can't wait to see you in the next one bye